Average Dude has something to say about... Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, will AIG join Maurice Greenberg in suing the U.S.? This has been a big issue. If you've been uh, trying to look out for your mental and emotional health, then you've probably not been following the news, definitely not the whole business end of things, because it's not good news. Um, there's been a lot of talk about AIG suing the U.S. government for bailing it out. Now, to clarify, because the Turks dealt with this and they didn't quite get it right. They're angry, like all of us, but um, it wasn't the company, AIG, that in other words, uh, Maurice Greenberg. Dickhead extraordinaire, former head of American International Group, AIG. I mean, he's still a major shareholder, by the way, of course. Money, money, money. <laughs> because the government bailed him out, and eh, I think I'm going to keep all these shares of stock after all. Money, cha-ching. Compliments of the U.S. taxpayer. That's what kind of an individual he is. But... I mean, Maurice Greenberg sued the U.S. government for $25 billion back in November of 2011. Uh, you're going to love this. Quote, claiming officials should have bailed out AIG instead of taking it over. Oh, it gets better when it comes to old Maurice because his dickishness it knows no end. I, wow, his infinite capacity for being an asshole. He's a piece of crap. He needs a serious... He needs to be whipped. Good God. Hey, he's suing all over the place. Hey, he's suing every... He, uh, Bank of America, gold mining, the, the U.S. Uh, he's suing everybody because uh, this is the type of person Maurice Greenberg is. Okay? Everyone else is to blame for everything that happened and I'm a poor victim. Everyone else is wrong except me, Maurice Greenberg. Maurice, you're a baby. You failed miserably. You didn't know how to run anything. And if you're honestly trying to play the victim card like everybody pulled a fast one on you, what does that say about you and your leadership skills? What kind of person runs a major operation like AIG and is blissfully ignorant of everything going on. You're an asshole. You need to be dealt with, you piece of crap. Okay, and you're, oh, get ready for the drum roll. This is the best yet. And this one, I'm telling you ahead of time, is going to burn your butt. Quote, the argument is that this violated the Fifth Amendment's prohibition on the government seizing private property without just compensation. Just compensation? Maurice Greenberg? Just compensation? AIG was so far in the hole. You owed money. You owed ass loads of money. You owed us. You owed your shareholder. You owed people. They did not owe you. The government and the citizens of the U.S. did not owe you a damn thing. I, without just compensation, if that was the case, you would have been forced to pay us, you son of a bitch. Not us paying to save your sorry, useless, worthless, derelict ass. I, wow. Just compensation takes my breath away. Uh, but AIG, he wanted AIG to follow along and sue the government. He's putting pressure on them. And AIG has actually considered it. Quote. Wednesday, in other words, not that long ago. Today is uh, Thursday. <laughs> this, this just happened. Wednesday, AIG's board of directors decided not to sue the U.S. government over the bailout. Good move. Do not think that they are good guys and gals. They did not do this for more. They sat on this one for a long time, pondering whether they were going to sue the government, in other words, us. They 
thought about this long and hard. This was a business decision. They basically figured, hmm, Maurice Greenberg's trying to sabotage our company because he's a shareholder. He owns a lot of shares. And, wow, that's going to affect us in our bottom line right now after everything that's happened. Well, should we sue the government? No. And you want to know why? Because the backlash would have absolutely bankrupted them and there would have been no bailout. Because if the, if the government would have even thought of bringing it up again, this would have been the proverbial straw that broke the camel's back. Uh, conservatives, liberals, and everything in between, people would have massively, and I mean, uh, there, there would have been huge protests, and I'm not talking about the peaceful kind. There would have been savage, brutal, assault type of protests over this. I, so they decided not to go with it. un believable Talk about the dog that bite the hands that feed. And you know what? This is what I'm tired of. We have a problem in this country with rewarding bad behavior. And we end up stupidly punishing the good behavior. And then we, what is the inevitable result of that? When you reward bad behavior and you punish the good behavior or ignore it and don't do anything when they're in trouble, you end up with more bad behavior. It, duh, duh, McFly. I, and the worse the behavior, have you noticed how we go out of our way? Have you noticed when it comes to, I mean, there's so many shootings, I haven't even talked about this. All these sociopaths who are clearly unwell, and then we want to we wanna consider, oh, their rights, oh, they're victims too, even though they slaughtered a whole bunch of people. We want to study them. Okay, you do not need to study these people. They're sociopaths. They killed a whole bunch of people. There's no justification for that. They do not belong in normal society ever after that. That you do not need to, it, because it always comes with goodies. In order to be able to do that, they have to have sentences reduced. The whole mentally ill thing or temporary insanity, if that doesn't work. I mean, it's everything possible to reduce the damn sentences. And yet, something minor, throw the books at them. It just blows me away. The worse the behavior, the more we go out of our way to cater to it. And it shouldn't surprise us at all that when it comes to... I mean, look at how we're raising our kids anymore. Uh, the time out was the most ridiculous idea ever imagined. When you take away punishment... Okay, it's, it's, about, it's the difference between rewarding the good and punishing the bad behavior. You create that huge difference. And here's something that you need to understand about punishment. It's not just to punish the person who did something wrong. You have a bunch of people who are vicariously learning, that is learning from the example of the badly behaved person. When you punish that person who does something bad, everyone else looking at that situation thinks, hmm, if I do that, that's going to happen to me, and I don't want that. Okay, it's damage control, ladies and gentlemen of the world in this country, because we don't have that figured out. And when it comes to, is it really a surprise when it comes to the financial situation? Look at these rich bastards doing what they did, getting a slap on the wrist. I, really? How about we punish the bad behavior for a change?